There is a ton of talent within the group that will get the chance to prove themselves. The young players in the Milwaukee Brewers organization can provide even more excitement for the future. Though it is just spring camp, it is without a doubt a huge honor for these players. Keston Hyerath 2017 first round pick for the Brewers impressed in his debut year. Keston Hyera is a known hitter, with some holes in his glove. But that bat is more than worth it. He hit over .300 in 27 games with the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers. Overall, across two levels, Hyera's hitting numbers are downright impressive. In 42 total games, he posted a .371 batting average with four homers. Having not seen a pitch above a ball, he is not in contention to make the team out of camp. However, it is a chance for the team to get a closer look. With the second base questions, this is a potential answer for the future. Kyle Wren This invite is a long time coming for Kyle Wren. He spent all of last in AAA and hit very well. In fact, over 281 total games with Colorado Springs he is hitting .290. Unfortunately for him, the outfield is just extremely crowded. Wren will turn 27 in April. A solid showing at camp might change his standing in the difficult situation. But that is doubtful considering the Ryan Braun, Keon Broxton, Brett Phillips, Domingo Santana, and Lewis Brunson of it all. Corbin Burns During his time in the mill thus far, Corbin Burns has been downright impressive. In twos, pitching as high as AA, his era is sub-2. His FIP in Biloxi of 2.23 furthers the argument that he is going to be very good. There is no reason Burns can't see time with the Milwaukee Brewers in 2018 if he continues his success, but not out of camp. This could be a very telling experience for him. There will no doubt be time with Colorado Springs in his immediate future. Nate Orphan of the second baseman is going to get a look this spring. Nate Orph is another player deserving of this chance. He hit over .300 with Colorado Springs last, and might compete for the starting spot. However, it will be a temporary situation. Orf will be 28 by the time camp starts and there are some great prospects about ready to take over the long-term role. Mauricio de Bon is a serious candidate for that. The .320 batting average in AAA is no joke, and if he can show that ability he will be in the conversation. John Perrin, the last time John Perrin's name came up, it was for his participation in the Arizona Fall League. That invitation came after posting a 2.91 era with Biloxi in 2017. His best asset is his control, as he has a career BB, 9 below 2, and AHR, 9 below 1. Along with Burns, Perrin will likely start with Colorado Springs in 2018. It was his solid performance last that got him to the AFL and to spring camp. That being said, it is well deserved. Luis Ortiz own of the top prospects in the Milwaukee Brewers organization, Luis Ortiz, is projected to see the MLB in 2018, though he did seem to take a step back in 2017. After coming over by way of trade in 2016, his era sat sub-2, but his FIP was over 4, and that reflected last. However, he did post a career low BABIP at .258, this will be valuable experience for the top prospect. He might end up with Colorado Springs to study, but he could also find himself back with Biloxi. Either way, this is not a surprising invite considering the potential he brings to the table. Beyond spring camp worth the probable exception of Hyra, all of these players could join the Milwaukee Brewers at some point this year. It is a very talented bunch of guys. Spring will be very fun and will show what is to come. To me, the player to watch most is Burns. He is consistently proving that he can be a special talent. As far as guys who could see the Brewers roster out of camp, the only real contender at this point is Wolf. But, only time will tell.